Sup, how's it going? Okay, high energy, that's you guys. Sorry, you know what? Um, I don't want to be cocky or anything, but I think I'm gonna record this, because I think it's gonna be amazing. You guys good? Salaamu Alaikum. Hi, uh, My name really is Faisal Butt. That's my real name, and that is not a good name to have when you're in high school uh, or prison. <laughs> like, have you guys ever been bored at work or at home, and you just sort of Google your own name just to see who else in the world shares that bond with you? Uh, I did that once. I just Googled Faisal Butt, and 36 million porn sites just popped up on my screen. <laughs> Well, then Google on its high horse was like, did you mean facial butt? I was like, no, Google. <laughs> That's my opener. <laughs> Give it up for uh, Leonard and Rush and, and that other guy doing their show today. <laughs> hey, oh, so happy to be here. I, uh, I'm excited just to be out of the house because I'm a new dad. Uh, oh, thanks. Now you like me. Yeah, I have, a, I have a beautiful daughter in the car. I mean the Uber, Toronto, it's cheaper than a babysitter right now. Just keep circling, Queen. I'll be out in like 20 minutes, all right? Thanks. Five stars. Are you guys big Uber people here? You will be after this joke. <laughs> I love Uber, I, I take it all the time. Um, Uber's got this function where you can split a fare, right? So, sir, they're like, you and I are going to the theater. And I'm like, do you want to split this? And you're like, yeah. Boom, I send you a request, <laughs> shows up on your phone, and you hit accept. And we get there, we split the fare with gentlemen, right? One time, I was blackout drunk in an Uber by myself. I'm Muslim, by the way. And I realized the other person doesn't need to be in the car with you for them to get a split. Yeah, and that's just what I do is I pull out my phone. Because I have a lot of white friends in different parts of the country. A lot of them smoke weed, so I'm probably interrupting a weed session, right? And so I'm just sending splits out. Meanwhile, in Vancouver, Caleb, Josh, and Kyle are like, Hey man, what's a gazpacho soup? <laughs> Is water. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's my friend Faisal from Toronto. And he's trying to spit, split an Uber. What should I do? Maybe hit accept, he might be in danger. You're right. Boom, I get home for four bucks. <laughs> I find out who my friends are. Cool. I have 40 more minutes, guys, so just strap in right now. <laughs> fucking, I'm sweating right now. Not because I don't think I'm doing amazing, but it's fucking hot right now. It's like Pakistan elections hot. <laughs> yeah, do we have a lot of people from Pakistan here? I'll wait one person. Mom, I told you to wait in the car. <laughs> My Uber driver. <sighs> I was, uh, I was in the back of the room, and then I came here, and I just like, I just love tonight, because it's just like, diversity, right? Um, but then I just noticed you, sir, I just sort of zeroed in on two, I love your shirt, it says Game Boy on it. And you just look like a Game Boy. It's adorable. And then I just realized, when I'm staring at you, like, we're, so, we're in Toronto, it's so multicultural, and uh, I just thought about like, all my white friends that I had. I was like, maybe we could be white. Like, you could be my next white friend. I don't know. Because I know you have no brown friends. Yeah, that's right. By the way, um, do we know each other? Do we? This is exactly how we rehearsed it. <laughs> my point is, I, I also... So I don't mean to pick on your... Alex? Yeah. Um, <laughs> fuck! On the first try, guessing the white guy's name? Oh, yeah. That's a superpower. In the back of him. So I was looking at you guys and I get here and I was just thinking about all my white friends because it's, it's like a crazy, I'm sure we all have white friends, right? They're adorable. <laughs> Sometimes my white friends, Timmy does this a lot, short for Timothy, and he'll be like, he'll see me. Because, like, my white friends will make jokes with me, but sometimes they'll cross the line, right? So sometimes Timmy will be like, hey, Basil, what's going on in your face area, huh, buddy? 
Is it your razor's day up? <laughs> no, I don't get it. What the fuck does that mean? No, I'm just saying, you know, because you didn't shave, and then you have this beard, and you're, you're a brown guy, and your hair's all over the place, and you look, you're starting to sweat, too. You start, start, start to look like a terrorist. <laughs> Did you, have you seen what you're wearing? <laughs> and I just stare at him. He's my friend. I've known him for 15 years. I know his limitations. He's like, I'm sorry, was that inappropriate to say in jest? I'm like, that's just a weird thing to say to your friend. But I love you, Jimmy. You're the one with the car. <laughs> for some reason, that empowers him, and then he's just looking for, like, the rest of our white friends, and he's trying to summon them. They're like, guys, guys, get over here. Hey, Melanie, Doug, Steve, Earl, Jim, John, Rachel, Ryan, Peter, Paul, Aaron, 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 Alex. <laughs> I mean, look, face will sort of look like a terrorist. And then that's when I freak out and be like, man, why can't I just look lazy? <laughs> or broke. You know how much a Mach 3 or shit Quattro blade costs in this economy? I'll tell you right now, $15.99. $17.46 with tax. That's four shots of Jameson with no tip. <laughs> My weed dealer who I found on LinkedIn Gives me four grams, because ladies and gentlemen, society, I'm a 41-year-old, unemployed, whiskey-drinking, pot-smoking Muslim who's dating a white girl from London, England. Thank you. Yeah, the only people I'm terrorizing are my parents. I've got a jihad on their dreams. You should hear how disappointed they are every time they call me, because I was like, Basil, this is not why we moved to Canada. Sorry, I'm really bad with accents. 